What's going on everybody? I hope everybody's having a great day so far. So today we're going to talk about a rhythm in this pattern called Bachanga. You got to love it. You already know what day it is. It's Tutorial Thursdays. So to all the new subscribers, welcome to Apricunction Life. My name is Eric Perez. Some of you already know that by now, but just had to welcome you to the channel. And I do hope they enjoy these videos. And if you haven't subscribed already, just hit that subscribe button, hit that notification button, find out whenever I upload. And I normally upload every Monday and every Thursday, and it's normally things that you request. And to all my day ones, man, thank you so much for all the love, all the support, all the good comments, man, sharing the videos. Trust me, I am grateful. I am grateful for all the love and I be getting from you guys, seriously. And as well, if you saw the video, me visiting Manito Percussion, it is awesome, it's beautiful. I had a great time with everyone there. Thank you, Ryan, for hosting it, man. Thank you, Chris, for giving me a ride. Man, gotta love it. Love meeting new people, man. It's just, it's just awesome, great vibes. Trust me, I love Manito Percussion. I don't recommend these heads because Manito Percussion is paying me for it or I'm sponsored by them. No, not at all, I pay for my heads, man. And it's a product that I believe in. And if you'd like to try new skins, try them out. There are many great, you know, skin providers out there. So it's not like they're the only option. And it's great to have different options. It's unbelievable how many other people have great products, but you know, I always say try money through percussion. And there's a lot of great other companies like Tact Skin, man. Those are awesome skins too. So it's not like they're the only option or they're the only ones that I will only recommend. No, I, those are just the ones that I like to play on for right now. And sometimes I'll switch up my skins and I'll let you guys know the brand. But it's not because I'm just sponsored or they're paying me for stuff. Just keep that in mind. Just keep that in mind. I try to keep things honest up in here. But yeah, let me show you this variation of Pachanga. There's a couple out there, but you know, with this pattern, I think it's easy, it's simple, especially if you're just trying to get the swing of things. But yeah, let me show you this variation. got to love it. Yes. All right, let me show you what I'm doing. And if you heard Pachanga before, if you heard that rhythm, if you've heard this type of pattern, at least in that rhythm, you could tell this has a little bit of a modern twist, slightly so, a little bit more slapping and a lot more presence in regards to the bass. So I start this pattern with a bass with my non-dominant hand and then a slap in the middle of the drum with my non-dominant hand and then a close slap with my dominant hand all on the conga. So it's gonna sound like this. After doing that close slap on the conga with my dominant hand, I'm going to do like a tip or a finger with my non-dominant hand. And then again, with my non-dominant hand, I'm going to do a bass. And then with my non-dominant hand, again, I'm gonna do a slap in the middle of the drum. And then with my dominant hand, I'm gonna do two opens. So it's gonna sound like this. Again, the emphasis throughout this beat, at least with your non-dominant hand, is going to be those basses and those slaps. Just keep that in mind. But to put everything together up to this point, it's gonna sound like this. After doing those two opens with your dominant hand on the conga, now starts the little bachanga feelish part of this pattern. 
But what you're going to do is a base with your non-dominant hand on the conga, and then you're going to do an open with your dominant hand on the tumba. So it's gonna sound like this. After doing that open on the tumba with your dominant hand, now with your non-dominant hand, you're just going to do a finger or a tip with your non-dominant hand on the conga, and then you're gonna do another open with your dominant hand on the tumba. So it's gonna sound like this. So to just put those two pieces together, it's gonna sound like this. So to put that together, it's gonna sound like this. After doing that open on the tumba with your dominant hand, now with your non-dominant hand, you're going to do a bass and then a slap again in the middle of the conga, all with your non-dominant hand. And then with your dominant hand, you're going to do two opens. So it's gonna sound like this. So to put everything together, it's gonna sound like this. Now to play it all the way through, it's gonna sound like this. to love it. Now to count it slowly, it's gonna sound like this. One, two, three, four. 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 Pachanga, pachanga, you got to love it. But all right, y'all, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little video, this quick little breakdown. Try it out, practice it at home, and let me know what you guys think. Tag me in your videos if you decide to try this out. You gotta love it. But all right, y'all, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Y'all already know what to do. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a great weekend.